Hello, I'm Dr. Nathan Faulkner, an orthopedic surgeon that specializes in the treatment of the shoulder, hip, and knee. And I'm Kara Cohn, his physician assistant. Today we will be demonstrating some important components of your care with some video segments. If you had a total shoulder or knee replacement, your wound was closed with several layers of sutures. The top layer of sutures is a dissolvable suture, so usually no sutures will have to be removed in clinic. Your wound was also covered with two types of dressings. One is this mesh with a skin glue called Dermabond. And then the top layer is called Silver Lawn or Mepilex dressing. Both of these dressings are waterproof and they have a little bit of silver in them to help fight off any infection. As long as you have a good seal around your dressing, you can shower and it will keep your wound dry. Usually the dressing stays on until your first post-operative appointment. But if you had to peel back the dressing, you can actually peel it back to look at the incision and then put it right back on. This adhesive um, can stay stuck down. And like I said, we usually recommend that you keep this dressing on until your first post-operative appointment. At that time, your dressing will be removed. Again, exposing this mesh with the skin glue which we will also remove. And then you'll see a nice scar that will be mostly healed by the time you come back to see us. At this point, we often put some white strips across the incision just to support it, and those strips will fall off on their own, usually around four weeks from surgery. While the wound is healing, we recommend that you avoid submerging it in water. So no bathtubs, swimming pools, or hot tubs. But you can shower and let water uh, run over the, soapy water run over the incision. Then you just kind of pat it dry when you're done. <laughs>